Salut à toutes et à tous, j'espère que vous allez super bien. Je m'appelle Aditi, bienvenue à notre chaîne YouTube qui s'appelle GS Global Institute. C'est le dixième épisode et aujourd'hui on va faire les fruits et les légumes en français et aussi on va pratiquer pour ça. Est-ce que vous êtes prêts? Hello to all, I wish you all are excellent. My name is Aditi, welcome to our YouTube channel that is GS Global Institute. This is the 10th episode and today we are going to do fruits and vegetables in French and also some practice for that. But before starting, if you are new to this channel and have not subscribed to our channel yet, please press subscribe button and press bell icon too to get further notifications from our channel. For better understanding, you can refer to the previous episodes also. I will mention those links in the description. And now we are going to start with the fruits and vegetables. And here we go. Alright students, so now we are going to start with the fruits and vegetables. So number one is fruits. So what are fruits called in French? They are known as fruits. So what are they pronounced? Les fruits. Okay. So we are going to do one by one. Number one is l'anana. What is the pronunciation? That is l'anana. And as it is masculine, so accordingly, love would have been used here. But as we did in Les Articles de Fini, that is in the previous lecture, I told you that whenever there is a vowel, so Les Articles de Fini changed to L apostrophe. And accordingly, this forms La Nana. And what is La Nana in French? That is actually the pineapple. Alright, number two is la banane. Alright, so this is feminine accordingly la is used here and as the name indicates this is banana. But what it is pronounced that is la banane. Alright, next is lemon. So what is lemon called in French? That is le citron. Alright. This is feminine, so le is used and this is known as le citron. Alright, next is number four, that is la cerise. La cerise. This is cherry and as this is feminine, so accordingly la is used here, so this is la cerise. Right, next is la fruise. La fruits. This is again feminine, so accordingly, la is used, and that is actually the strawberry. All right. Next is la goyave. La goyave. So this is what? This is guava. All right. Next is le kiwi. So this is masculine, so le is used and as the name indicates, this is the same as that in English, that is kiwi. Okay, next is la mangu, la mangu. So that is feminine, so accordingly la is used and this is what? This is mango, alright. Next one is l'orange, l'orange. So this is again a vowel, so accordingly L apostrophe is used, but actually this is a mascula and this is what it is called in English, that is orange and it is signified the same as that in the colors, alright, this is what, l'orange, alright, and the next is la pastèque, la pastèque, this is feminine, so here la is used and the spellings are P A S T E accent gra Q U E. Alright. So whenever this E is used, this is accent gra and this is accent igu. Alright. So la pastec. This is what? This is watermelon. Alright. So now we are going to move towards the other name of the fruits, which are as follows. So, here they are. Next is la pomme. 
right so this is femina so accordingly la is used right so this is what this is apple all right so what it is called la pomme all right next is la pêche la pêche all right so what are the spellings p e chapeau c h e so what is this chapeau this is a sort of cap like this and it comes on e or a all right so this is chapeau above alphabet all right so this is pronounced as la pêche and accordingly this is femina and this is what this is peach all right next is la poire la poire so this o i sounds like ua all right so this is femina accordingly la is used la poire and this is what pio okay next is le raison le raison so this raison is actually masculine then you might have right now a question in your mind that why le is not used over here even if it is masculine because grapes are always plural okay so accordingly here also i have written le all right le raison that is the grapes okay so now we are going to revise the fruits name once again and then we are going to move towards the practice session for le fruit okay number 1 is lanana that is pineapple next is la banane that is banana le citron that is lemon la cerise that is cherry la fruits that is strawberry la goyave that is guava le kiwi that is kiwi la mangue that is mango l'orange that is orange la pastèque that is watermelon okay next one is la pomme that is apple la pêche that is peach la poire that is pear les raisins that is grapes all right so now we are going to move towards the practice session for the fruits so that you get to know better that are you able to understand and are you able to comprehend these words or not okay so here we go these are some words for practice so now what you are going to do you are going to write them in english and i will give you 30 seconds to answer them so you will answer and after that i will discuss these with you all right so you may start okay so now let's have the discussion so this is la pastèque what is la pastèque that is watermelon next is la pêche what is la pêche that is peach okay la mangue is mango la banane is banana la cerise is cherry okay so these are the answers you can verify them okay so now we are going to move towards le legume so what is le legume le legume are vegetables okay so we are going to learn the vegetables in french okay number 1 is un poivron vert okay so one can guess from the name as well 
this where indicates the color that is green so what can be the vegetable that is of green color they can be capsicum spinach etc but the here the exact word is capsicum right so it is muscular and accordingly a uh, is used here right so what is the pronunciation over here a uh, poivre where okay next one is these aubergine what is the pronunciation these aubergine okay so these are what brinjals okay next is un tomat okay so again to memorize that this t is not pronounced like t this is t un tomat okay so what is the exact word in english that is tomato what is tomato called in french un tomat right next is a chou fleur right which is cauliflower so what is the cauliflower called in french a chou fleur this is what chou fleur okay so this is muscular accordingly a uh, is used here okay and what are the spellings that is c h o u in between there is a hyphen then it is f l e u r okay so moving on to the next next is a cucumbre a cucumbre that is what cucumber okay next is anoino anoino okay this is what onion this is muscular accordingly a uh, is used here anoino okay next is these are cot these are cot these are what these are beans and they are actually plural so accordingly they is used over here and but for the general knowledge you can know that this is feminine okay so also this is s over here and h is usually silent and the next alphabet is actually the vowel so accordingly they get connected and the pronunciation become these are cot okay next is these apinad these apinad that is spinach okay so this spinach is also plural okay so accordingly they is used and what is the word that is apinad e accent a q p i n a r d s okay so this is what spinach okay next one is carrot so what is carrot called in fron french that is une carotte une carotte okay next is peas okay so what are peas called they are the petit pois the petit pois so they are plural so accordingly they is used okay and what is this word this is petit p e t i t s and it is pronounced as petit and this is what pois p o i s pois okay next is un pomme de terre un pomme de terre also in fruits we did la pomme so what is la pomme that is actually apple but pomme de terre is potato okay so what is pomme de terre that is potato okay and it is femina and accordingly un is used here okay next is this is not actually the vegetable this is basket of vegetable so what is that that is a panier de legume right a panier de legume okay so these were the vegetables so once we are going to revise them and after that there will be a small practice question for you to learn them better okay so number 1 is a poivre vert that is capsicum these aubergine that is brinjals 
ion tomat that is tomato a chou fleur that is a cauliflower a cucumber that is cucumber next is anoino that is onion and next is there is a ricot which is beans next is there is epinard which is spinach next is un carrot that is carrot and number 10 is de petit pois that is peas next is un pomme de terre which means potato next is a panier de legume that is basket of vegetables okay so now we are going to move towards the practice session to better understand these vegetable names okay so here i am going to give you a minute to answer them okay these are actually five parts of vegetables so what you have to do here is just learn the names of the vegetables and answer it over here okay so here is the parts that is this okay and your time starts now Okay, so now let's move towards the answers. So number one is the petit pois. So what is the petit pois? They are peas. Okay, and what is the pronunciation? That is the petit pois. Okay, next is un carrot. So what is un carrot? That is carrot. And this is Femina, so accordingly, yun is used here. Okay, next is a shoe flower that is what cauliflower. Okay, next is yun pom de terre. Do not confuse it with pom. This is what pom de terre, and what is pom de terre? That is potato. Next is a cucumber, that is cucumber. Okay, so this is it with the vegetables, and I hope you answered them right. And these are the answers for the following. Students, one thing more: if you have any problem regarding les articles définis and les articles indéfinis, I have discussed them in my previous episodes. And if you have not watched them, please just go and check them on our channel. I can also mention the link in the description if you want to. Just check them out and just learn them thoroughly because these articles are very important because the entire grammar we are going to do afterwards is based on these articles. All right, so you have to learn them accordingly. That is this uh, what I called as it as a uh, yundi. These are very important articles and you have to remember along with the noun. Okay, so this was for today and other episodes are also mentioned in the description if you want to you can check them whatever topic is not clear to you okay if still you have any problem you can mention in the comment section and if you liked my video please press like button 
and if you still not have subscribed our channel please press subscribe button and press bell icon too to get further notifications and thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next lesson that is in the next episode au revoir merci beaucoup